hey guys it's georgia welcome back to my channel today's video is going to kind of be a vlog slash craft video again it's going to be kind of similar to the sharpie mug video if you have not seen that i highly recommend you guys will get a laugh out of what i did i still can't believe how the whole video turned out but it's pretty funny so go check that out and yeah, so my plan for today is to revamp our bedroom walls. We have nothing on the walls besides a like knitted wall hanging and I want to add some artwork above the bed. I'm running out of some paints, so I'm gonna go to Walmart and get a few supplies and I thought I'd take you guys along with me. Here is what the bedroom looks currently. We have the bed and then just the wall hanging. So the duvet cover is from Urban Outfitters. These two pillows are from Target. These two pillows are from TJ Maxx or Home Goods, one of them. But I want, oh, hello, Tommy. I want to buy fabric that's this tan color and make pillowcases for them, but I have not yet to do that. Or the yellow, I'm not sure. And then this is from Home Goods, and it was only $17. Can you believe that? Like, it's huge. And it was only 17 bucks. Most of them range like $50 to $100. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Hey, hey, do me. Hi. Say hello to the vlog. He's just purring. <laughs> so what I want to do above the bed is two canvases, which I already have. And I'll kind of put some inspiration photos up for you on the screen right here. I think I know now what I want to do. I just need to go out and get some paint because I'm out of... Majority of the colors that I need, like reds and orange and yellow to kind of mix these colors. So that's why I want to go to Walmart. And then I'm also going to get a few other things from Walmart because I'm there and why not? I just got back from Walmart and thought I would show you guys what I got. So I got two of their No Boundaries tees. They are literally less than $10. They are in the men's section. I highly recommend these. These are kind of like a comfort color dupe if you know what that is. It's a really nice quality t-shirt and I feel like these resemble them a lot and they're just as thick and just as nice. Got a bunch of paint from the paint section to try and make all the colors that I need. Hopefully I got enough of the right assortment. I needed a stapler at work, so I just got a tiny little travel stapler. I needed a baster, so I got one of these, some bananas, some salmon, and some of these potatoes. I love buying them in the cups because they're easy to just throw in the microwave if you're by yourself. This weekend I am by myself. My fiance is going to go see some friends. And yeah, here is my little Walmart haul. So here is my setup. I have my two 18 by 14 canvases. I bought these from Michaels a long time ago and have yet to use them, so I thought this would be perfect for them. And then here is all the paints that I will be using. I got these today from Walmart, including this brown one. And then these are all the colors I had in my stash. I'm going to sketch out my designs first, and then I will show you guys what I did, and then we will get to painting. So here are the two canvases. I have the half circle one with a full circle in the middle here and then a full circle, half circle, and then I'm gonna do kind of the rainbow-esque shape, hopefully. Might not be perfect, but it's a painting and I'm really excited to see how they turn out. So I'm going to kind of decide what colors I want, mix up the paints, and then get to painting. So I've decided to use the khaki color from the Apple Barrel paint. This is like one of my favorite paint brands and it's obviously found at Walmart. I'm going to keep this the color. I'm not going to add anything to it for one of my colors. And then I'm going to mix a mustard color and a mauve color. But I will be using khaki and territorial beige for my other two colors so I won't have to mix the browns. 
So let's get to mixing and hope I don't waste a ton of paint because mixing paint is not easy. Okay, so I have my mauve mixed and then my mustard color. My mustard color was just the golden sunset and yellow color mixed together. I just wanted something that was a little more yellow than the golden sunset. So I went for a mixture of both of these. So let's get painting. You take me So here are the two paintings. I am letting the second coat dry, but I think that they turned out very, very well. Taking one of these white craft markers and kind of adding some details, like this circle had a dot like all over it and maybe adding in the lines for this to kind of make it a little more artsy. So I changed my mind and I'm actually going to be using this Sharpie marker instead it's like one of their paint markers just because that craft one none of the paint was coming out of it okay so the paintings are done and i already have them hung up i will say i wish i probably should have looked at my pillows. I wish I had done that so that I could have matched the pink a little bit better. The pink is a little too bright, but I don't hate it. Maybe I'll try and mix up a better mauve color for it and go over it one day. But like I said, I'm not mad how they turned out. I think they turned out really, really cute. Uh, are you guys ready to see them? Da -da -da -da! Oh my gosh. Okay, let me turn the camera around so you guys can see it. Here they are. Oh my gosh, this literally cost me, let's see, those paints were 50 cents a piece. I bought how many of them? Maybe less than 10 of them, so less than five bucks because I already had the 11 by 14 canvases. I think that these are amazing. I, oh, so cute. And I'm also very happy about how the details turned out. And I'm sitting on my bed, but here are the pillows. So you can kind of see the pinks are a little bright. I'd rather have them a little dulled down, but not wrong or not mad. Still love them. My hair is a little crazy room today. It's rainy outside, so my hair's a little frizzy now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a thumbs up if you love crafting and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new content. And yeah, I really love my bedroom decor. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Here is the aftermath of what I now need to clean up.